Oh, hi, didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, hi, hello, welcome, welcome to my channel. It's nothing special, don't worry about it, it's just me and this camera. This is yet another simplified. I'm gonna try and make it even shorter and snappier. This is the one I obsessed over in history class. This is the one that you might be able to picture in your head like the big fat Greek wedding. And that's exactly what I want you to do, okay? As this story does involve Greek mythology, it does start with a wedding. It starts with the wedding of King Peleus and sea nymph Thetis. And those two didn't invite this goddess, whose name was Eris, and she was the goddess of discord. So she turned up at the door and uh, the bodyguard was like, uh, uh, not, not today, Satan. So what she does is she just flings the gift that she brought them, which is like a golden apple. And it says on the apple to be given to the fairest or like the most beautiful one, different versions, but basically like to be given to the most beautiful one. So there are three goddesses inside. They're like, which one is it? So the goddesses are Hera, Aphrodite, and Athena, and they just stop this freaking wedding. They're like, mm -mm, this needs to make the decision needs to be made now. So of course, what are we going to do? We're going to ask a man to bring this decision. So they decide to consult Prince Paris, and obviously every single one bribes him with something. So these goddesses start bribing Paris, of course, so that he chooses them as the most beautiful one. So Hera promises him that he is going to rule Asia if he chooses her. Athena promises him victory in a battle. But Aphrodite makes the best promise to him at that very moment. She promises him she's going to make Helen fall in love with him. And Helen was the most beautiful mortal thing back then. So, of course, Paris is like, I am crazy. I'm gonna choose this offer. Aphrodite, you go be the most beautiful one. Give me Helen now. There's a catch, of course, because Helen is also engaged to be married to the King Meneolus. And you guessed it, this war started over a girl. So he has to kidnap Helen from King Meneolus, kidnaps her and brings her back to Troy. And for 10 years, there's this war now that he declared by kidnapping Helen. It's going on, but they are protected because Troy is basically just built in stone and nobody can just breach the walls of it. That is, until 10 years from then, the Greek soldiers came up with this idea. They're going to build this huge wooden horse, have a hollow space within where the soldiers can just go in and then attack the Troy from within. But obviously they need to figure out a way to convince somebody to actually bring this horse inside the walls of Troy. Odysseus plans this out and he's like, okay, these are the soldiers that are going to go into the hall of horse. What we are going to do as Greeks is we're just going to pretend like we're sailing away. We're going to sail away to this like island that's called Helenos, just like nearby. And we're going to leave behind this guy called Sinan, who is going to come to the doors of the Troy with this wooden horse and offer it to them as a gift. After 10 years, then Trojans are just going to be like, yeah, why not? This is a huge ass horse. If we take this horse in and display it, it's going to mean that we won over the Greeks. Logic. So Seal manages to convince them to take the Trojan horse and the rest of the Greek soldiers kind of sails back to the island um, during that afternoon. Then during the night, the soldiers from the horse that's now within the walls of Troy open up the doors for their bodies, everybody goes in and they rummage the place and Greeks won that war. Roughly, this has taken place between 1200 BC and between like 1180 BC, so like, you know how those years before Christ were going in reverse? The term Trojan horse is still used today to refer to either you just being gullible and inviting somebody who has like malevolent intentions inside, or it's used in IT, you know, like when somebody sends you a link that's again supposed to have like good intentions but ends up possessing your computer and stealing your information. That's it for this mini simplified. What did you think? Did I miss out on something? Probably a lot of things. I basically simplified 10 years in like 5 minutes, okay? So, uh, yeah. And what else do you want me to cover? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this series, let me know by liking the video, subscribing, clicking that bell button so you get notified. Mostly liking and subscribing though. But yeah, do, do what you gotta do. And uh, Maya, out.